So a quick review of how we draw our triglyceride molecule from our glycerol, which is what we see here on the left side. Okay, So we have our glycerol over here, and then we have our three fatty acids over here. And the chain on the fatty acids, how many carbons, whether they're single double bonds, that's really irrelevant. Where the reaction is actually occurring is between the OH groups on the glycerol, so we have three of those, and then we have the carboxylic acid group on the fatty acids. So that's where we're going to be um, focusing on. So really what this is, is three condensation reactions happening. So just like we talked about condensation with organic molecules, just like we talked about condensation with amino acids coming together. We can also get condensation between these two. It's just happening three times and as a result we form one really big molecule. So what we're going to see is like any other condensation we're going to lose a water molecule. So we're going to lose an OH and an H, an OH and an H, an OH and an H. Now whether we say we're losing the um, OH from this side or from this side doesn't matter as long as we lose that water molecule overall. And so what we see is we're going to lose a water molecule from each of these. And then what we have happening is, so we're going to lose that. We're going to take out the O there and the H on that side. We're going to take out the O here or the OH here. And we're going to take out the H. Okay. We're going to take out the OH and the H and then we're going to form that new bond between those two pieces and that's what's going to go back together and so we're going to get a bond between the carbon and the oxygen, the carbon and the oxygen, the carbon and the oxygen. So we extracted that water molecule with the OH and the H and then those are the two pieces that come together. So it's just another condensation reaction. We're just doing it three times to form one big kind of mega molecule and this whole big thing is known as a triglyceride. So the tri comes from it. There are three and then we're getting into our glycerides because we have our glycerol. So this is known as glycerol. And our three fatty acids, whatever they may be. If we then had the hydrolysis of this triglyceride, then we'd end up back, back with our starting materials. Remember, condensation or hydrolysis are reverse reactions of one another. And so if we did the hydrolysis of this molecule, we'd end up with our glycerol molecule. So our three carbon chain with the OH groups on it, and then our three separate fatty acids. We would still maintain the same functional group in those final fatty acids, the C double bond OOH. In this case, we're writing the the fatty acid that looks a little backwards than we usually write it, but there's nothing wrong with that. We're still just looking at the connectivity of those atoms.